क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन से इज दैट फॉर दी वन डायमेंशनल मोशन ऑफ अ पार्टिकल डिस्क्राइब बाय पोजीशन एक्स इज इक्वल टू टी प्लस कॉस्टी वे टी इज टाइम इन सेकेंड्स एंड एक्स इज इन मीटर्स दी वेलोसिटी ऑफ पार्टिकल इज जीरो एट टाइम टी इक्वल टू नॉट ए स्टूडेंट्स दी वेलोसिटी ऑफ द पार्टिकल कैन बी रिटर्न टू बी इक्वल टू डी एक्स बाई डी टी विच विल बी इक्वल टू वन माइनस साइन टी because the differentiation of cos t with respect to time will be minus sin t now for velocity to be equal to 0 we can write that 1 minus sin t is equal to 0 which means that sin t is equal to 1 or t is equal to pi by 2 seconds here in pi can be written to be equal to 3.1 for approximately and time can be calculated to be equal to 1.57 seconds and therefore the correct answer for this question should be dear students option number 4 now let us proceed to the question number 22 question number 22 says that the velocity position graph of a particle moving on a straight line is as shown in figure the graph of acceleration position is best described by now dear students as per this given graph we can find out the velocity as a function of position we can write that v by 8 plus x by 4 is equal to 1 if we simplify this expression we can write that v is equal to minus 2x plus 8 now dear students the slope of this graph that will be equal to dv by dx can be written to be equal to minus 2 now the acceleration it can be written as to be equal to v dv by dx on substituting the calculated values in this expression we can write acceleration to be equal to minus 2x plus 8 multiplied by minus 2 therefore acceleration would be equal to 4x minus 16 If we observe this equation, dear students, we can see that the acceleration versus position graph would be a straight line of positive slope. At x is equal to zero, a will be equal to minus sixteen, and a will be zero at x is equal to four. From this data, we can see the correct answer can only be option number two. Now let us proceed to the question number twenty-three. Question number twenty-three says that a car moving along a straight highway with speed one forty-four kilometer per hour is brought to stop within a distance of four hundred meters with uniform retardation. How long does it take for the car to stop? Now, dear students, it has been given to us the car it has an initial speed of one forty-four kilometers per hour. So one forty-four kilometers per hour. can be written to be equal to 144 multiplied by 5 by 18 meter per second which can be written to be equal to 40 meters per second now dear students since the car is being stopped in a distance of 400 meters let us assume that the retardation has a magnitude a we can write that u square minus 2as is equal to 0 which means that a is equal to u square divided by 2s on substituting the values we can write that 40 square by 2 into 400 is equal to the acceleration acceleration can be calculated to be equal to 2 meter per second square now dear students to find out the time in which the car stops we can use the equation that u minus at is equal to v since the final velocity is zero we can write that u minus at is equal to zero substituting the value of u as 40 and substituting the value of a as 2 we can calculate the value of t which will be equal to 20 seconds therefore the correct answer for this question should be option number 3 Now let us proceed to the question number twenty-four. Question number twenty-four says that a car starts from rest and accelerates at two meter per second square for five seconds, then travels at a steady speed for another five seconds in the same direction. 
the distance it has covered for entire 10 seconds is now dear students in the first 5 seconds the distance traveled by the car can be calculated using the formula s is equal to half at square where a is the acceleration the acceleration has been given to us to be equal to 2 multiplied by t square where t is equal to 5 on solving this equation we get s1 to be equal to 25 meters so dear students in the first 5 seconds the car moves a distance of 25 meters at the end of 5 seconds the velocity that the car has can be calculated using the formula v is equal to at the value of v can be calculated from the data as per the question where a is equal to 2 and t is equal to 5 so v turns out to be 10 meters per second the car travels with this velocity for another 5 seconds the distance therefore which the car travels should be equal to v into 5 that is time which should be equal to 50 meters the total distance that the car travels therefore is equal to s1 plus s2 which should be equal to 25 plus 50 and hence 75 meters the correct answer therefore dear students should be option number 4 now dear students let us proceed to the next question and the next question is question number 25 question number 25 says that at a railway station a boy walks up a stationary escalator in time 3 seconds if he remains stationary on the escalator then the escalator takes him up in time 6 seconds the time taken by him to walk up on a moving escalator is now dear students let us assume that the velocity of the boy with respect to escalator is u and the velocity of the escalator is v now as the boy moves up a stationary escalator let us assume that he moves to a distance d then the time taken can be written to be equal to d by u it has been given to us to be equal to 3 similarly when he remains stationary on a moving escalator then the time that the escalator takes to make him travel the same distance is 6 seconds now as the boy moves up the moving escalator the time taken can be calculated by using the formula d by u plus v now dear students we can write 1 by t is equal to v by d plus u by d now v by d is equal to 1 by 6 from this expression and u by d is equal to 1 by 3 from this expression we can write 1 by t is equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 3 therefore t can be calculated to be equal to 6 into 3 divided by 3 plus 6 that is 2 seconds so therefore the correct answer for this question is option number 2 now let us proceed to question number 26.